Hello, my maker friends. My name is Erica, and today we are making some clothespin characters or clothespin creatures. Your kit will include coffee filters, clothespins, some feathers, Q-tips, a paper clip, some sequins, some fuzzy sticks, two markers, and a little pot of glue. To get started, you'll want to create a design on your paper or coffee filter. We'll just call this paper from now on. So take your markers and choose which your pattern will be. You can draw words, scribbles, pictures, letters, abstract designs, and be sure to know that you can use your artistic license to direct how this project goes. I am just the tour guide. So have fun, go wild, let these ideas inspire you. Step two in this project is tr to Trace two sides of your clothespin over your favorite patterns you created. Okay, step three, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out this shape. All right, we're back for step four. So we have our clothespin and our two pattern pieces cut out to apply onto that clothespin. Take your glue, open it up, and we'll apply a thin layer of glue to each side, one at a time. We could make wings using our paper clip. I'm going to trace this oh trace over this wing, similar to that, cut it out, glue around it. So just watch and see. We'll go a lower little slower for this last wing. I traced everything out. I'm gluing both sides of my wing. I did draw some details on there because I feel it's easier to make the details drawn in before I do this decoupage. Decoupage is something where you glue paper, patterned paper onto another surface, which is what we've already done. And we're just gonna continue decoupaging to finish these wings. Ooh, I really like this. These kind of remind me of my little snake beads. And if you can hear, it even makes a fun sound as it flies around. Now, I'll decide to add some eyes and hair. So I'll take more glue. And here's where I wanna consider the orientation of my character. And you might have wanted to consider that already. Meaning, does it stand upright? Does it lie in its side? Does it have feet that you then create to walk? Oh, I think that's going to be fun. So I want to do that. I want this to look a little bit like a half caterpillar, half butterfly. And let's see, where do I want to add the hair? I think I'm just going to glue it to the side right here, just for fun. Oh. So with, the, with something thicker like this, you're gonna need a little bit more glue and sometimes you need some time in between the layers. If the glue is white and your things are falling off, generally, you might just wanna wait and let that dry. glue is 
is dry, it is clear. You can see maybe there's a little bit of white stuff at the top, so it's not completely 100% dry, but enough that I can flip it like that and nothing's falling off. And that's what my goal was. So I'm going to repeat that on the other side. So. Now I want to add some, uh, a mohawk. Oh, let's make a banjo. Now I'll use glue sandwich in that q-tip and cut around that pattern. Here's that little banjo and if we use that same technique we did for the the wings we just add some glue and you laminate that paper to give it a little bit of a shine. Then we'll make a microphone. Stay tuned. Let's make a microphone. Hey. I hope you've had fun learning and creating along with me on this journey.